Greetings and salutations to the citizens of the internet, the Redditors of the XCOM subreddit, and all the open XCOMers out there. This is Ivan Dogovich rocking the oldies with a Let's Try tutorial of Open XCOM, episode zero. So what I'm going to cover today, folks, is the download and install of Open XCOM and maybe some configuration. So starting off just pretty much fresh here, um, I do want to note that I've got Steam and I have Open or I have XCOM UFO Defense. You must have the original game to be able to play um, Open XCOM. It relies on all the original files, so if you don't have it, make a purchase at Steam. It's not expensive. It's actually quite uh, quite nice, um, and sometimes you can get great deals and get all of the. All the old classic XCOM titles. Okay, you can get XCOM UFO Defense for $5 on Steam. It goes on special frequently. I picked up a package where I got XCOM Apocalypse, UFO Defense, Terror from the Deep, Interceptor, and Enforcer for, I don't know, six bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, um, Humble Bundle. Yeah, great deal, well worth it. Um, I'm playing Terror from the Deep right now, and I have a Let's Play of that, but uh, Open XCOM came out 1.0, and um, I wanted to jump into it. So, you must have the original files from the original game, and let's go ahead and do a quick search for Open XCOM. Open XCOM. Off you go. And here we go. The source. We'll go right to the downloads page, because that's what we want to get. Okay, so right off the bat you are faced with a choice of of installation packages open xcom is ported to a bunch of different things and what i'll be covering is windows i i'm running windows 7 i haven't tried this on windows 8 and i can't guarantee that but uh, it will work for what i'm doing so let's go to the windows download page i've got a 64-bit os so let's go ahead and grab that's just go have and grab the, the Windows installer. It will automatically um, put the right version in if you need it. Um, or you can grab the actual archive and it will have the, the folder for you. So, Windows installer, where do you want it? All right, we'll just save this file here. And we'll let it run. I will open it up. Got it over here. I will fire it up. Open XCOM, do you want to do it? Yes, I do. Select language, I'll be doing English. Welcome to Open XCOM 1.0. We'll guide you through the installation and setup. It's recommended you close all other applications, etc. And I didn't close it before, and I won't close it now. I do want the game data. I do want the data patch, although the Steam version is, is patched. And I don't need a desktop shortcut. I will install it to program files Open XCOM. That's fine, I'll take your um, data file too. We'll just go, oh, that, that's actually pointing to where your original files are. This is in my Steam folder, Steam apps, so that'll go there. If you've installed the game somewhere else, you'll need to browse to this path. And it only takes 26 megabytes. Next, yes, install, go. So it is installing. And Open XCOM is really um, an updated port that some amazing folks have been working on for a while. And it is designed to free up a bunch of really cool stuff in XCOM. Make the game um, much more acceptable, much more open, much more appealing to a uh, more modern audi audience. So we've got it installed now, and let's go ahead and run it. Let's go finish this, close that out. It pops up a DOS window here, and um, this is kind of small, and it gives you the opening intro cinematic. We won't really, um, we're probably not gonna watch the cinematic. Although it is entertaining, when you get the game, you can do this yourself. All right, space through that. Now, right away, what I notice is that my audio is really loud. So I'm going to do the first thing and go to options. I'm going to go to audio and turn the music way down. Okay, much better. So the first thing you've got here is you actually have your open XCOM interface. And the first thing you can do is a new game, load a game, options, new battle. 
etc. New Battle is is new in OpenXCOM. We'll cover that maybe another another time. But let's go ahead and check out the options because this is some of the configuration that we want to do. Now the game was natively in 300 by 20 um, resolution. So it's very small, which is why this is showing up this way. And this display is actually 640 by 400. It can get, uh, let's see, can it get smaller? Yeah, it was natively 320 by 200. So this is really a challenge for modern um, modern monitors. So I like to take it up to 720 by 1280. That's pretty good. It's about the right size for a YouTube video as well. And I will be recording these for YouTube. So I will set that. I like it in windowed mode. You can go full screen if you like. You can go borderless and resizable, all of this, but I'll be playing windowed. Display filter. Changes the filter applied to the game screen. So this is um, the way the pixels are interpreted. And I haven't noticed a big enough difference. So I just stick with disabled. Okay, display options. Letterbox to maintain the original aspect. Yep. I don't like to grab the mouse, it, I like to be able to move my mouse off the window. For the Geoscape, I, I've been trying it at two times the original and I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and go with two times the original for both the Geoscape and the battle, Battlescape. So that's my video settings and the audio settings. I'm going to turn the sound effects down a bit to the UI volume down a little bit. This can give you your sample rate, you don't need to have as high of a sample rate. And it may be, your, if your system performs slower, you could go with a, slow, a lower rate. You can do, I'm not sure what the sound effects format is. Music format, you can actually choose different types of music, actually, and let it um, play in the background, which is kind of cool. Okay, controls here. This is really um, a pretty cool thing. What's happened is keyboard support has been added. And now, no longer do you have to do everything in the interface with the mouse which was revolutionary for its time, but uh, really gets to be tedious. For example, just the ability to use tab right here to select the next unit is amazing. It's just amazing. You can click on this and set it for maybe a different key. Let's see. Yeah, I could put it on the quote key, but I'm going to keep it on tab. Just the ability to, to flip between units, to scroll around and use the keys to do things is amazing. I won't cover each and every change, I will cover some that I'm using in the Geoscape and in the, the Battlescape as I use them. Um, but go ahead and look through these. The Open XCOM page has a wiki and has all of these set up. So you can look at these and it's going to take me a while to learn them all. But let me tell you, it's just going to be a lifesaver. The common usage today to use the mouse in one hand and a keyboard in another has been completely implemented with Open XCOM 1.0 and let me tell you that's a good thing. Okay, Geoscape. So here's some things here. You can set the scroll speed and the clock speed. Now the clock speed was pretty doggone fast in the original XCOM, so I'm going to bump it down a little. Dogfight speed, that can go pretty quick. We don't need to wait forever while we're shooting down stuff. Scroll speed can be good. This is a way to uh, drag scroll, and I'll leave it on middle mouse button, doesn't make much difference. You can show the countries or not. This is new. You can show the base radar range, which shows up as a circle around your, your base, which is nice. And it also show you the flight path. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show the funds on my UI too, which is kind of nice. It'll show you how much money you've got in, in the Geoscape. And now the Battlescape. Um, I will auto edge scroll so i'll move my mouse to the, to the edge and I'll auto mo i won't do the drag scroll fire speed i want to go fairly fast scroll speed i want to go fairly fast i want my guys to move really fast ai probably medium the reason i have the ai move a little slower is because they flash up on their movements in between my turns and if they move fast sometimes you don't get a very uh you don't get a lot of time to, to spot them. So, I don't know. I'll play with that. Leave it about there. Um, path arrows on. Yes, this is really cool. We'll show it in the, the actual Battlescape, but this is really nice. Tool tips, great. Death notifications, for sure. Time units. This will show how much time units your units will have after moving there, which is amazing. This is going to be really great. Okay. Advanced play intro. 
I'm not going to play it. It gets tedious. Auto save, sure. Save's coming, no. Mouse wheel scroll speed, three is fine. You can now use the mouse wheel to scroll, which is lovely. Change values with the mouse wheel, um, and how much you would change them with. Well, 10 is probably, I'm probably going to leave it at zero for now. Maximize info screens, yes. This will make some of the screens that pop up uh, bigger. FPS limit, how much graphic speed will, will push out. And I'll leave it at 60, that's fine. Um, I probably don't need that much. And if the if your game is performing slow lower, you could probably deal with like 30 to 40. So I'll just leave it at 60 FPS. Geoscape, invert drag scrolling, no. Aggressive retaliation, now here you get into some options that get to be game changing. So aggressive retaliation makes the enemies come after your base all the time. I will not have that on. Custom initial base, yes. So this is what happens. When you originally created a base in the original XCOM, I'm going to cover this in more detail in another video. But this will allow us to configure the base the way we like it and not get the generic base. Allow building queue, yes. Force craft launch. I will not do that because it kind of changes the way the game is set up. Uh, storage limits for recovered items. Yes, we will do that. Live alien sale. Sure, let's sell them. Sonic training anytime. No, that breaks the game too much as far as I'm concerned. Realistic global lighting. Sure. Sonic strength evaluation. No, we'll, we'll have to do it ourselves. Airborne transfers. No, that sounds kind of funky. Terror from the Deep manufacture rules. Definitely. This is one of the improvements that was made in the second version of the game that is really good and it's well worth keeping. What do we have here? Uh, spend r research items. No. Uh, we won't consume them. If you research an item, this would by default consume it. And we won't do that. Field promotions. Yes. So what that does, I like that. That will give our promotions to people who are in the battle. And you won't get people in another base or somewhere else promoted if you get a uh, chance to get promotions. All right, Battlescape. We won't change the drag scrolling. Sneaky AI. I'm going to leave this off, but I may try it sneaky later. UFO extender accuracy. I don't think so. Inventory stats. Yes. Uh, this is re this is a really great feature. It shows while you're in the inventory screen what some of their stats are. Enhanced soldier sprites, for sure. This is cool because it will show some of the uh, things about the soldiers, like if they're carrying two weapons, it might show that. Instant grenades. This is lovely. Yes. So now, when you prime a grenade for turn zero, it will go off as soon as it lands. Save pre-primed grenades yes this is another beautiful thing explosion height we are going to bump this up so if it's on zero it's flat it and this is the way the classic explosives work it would only joy destroy things on the same level that the explosive was but we know that explosions kind of have a vertical effect so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on two which means that it'll blow things up two layers above or below and it'll kind of have a, a radius which is cool auto end battle for sure once you kill the last enemy that the the battle will end and you don't have to play around smooth bullet camera this is nice i like it disable auto equip no we will leave the auto equip on this one of the features of xcom uh, of open xcom it will um, equip your troops. Once you set up a configuration, it will automatically equip them. Confirm fire mode. Nope. Alien weapon self truck. No way. This is like the common in the in the, uh, in the normal games, but if you don't get alien weapons, you really have a hard time supporting yourself in Open XCOM. So we will leave that off. Allow Psy Capture. I like this. If you control the aliens, it will, uh, all the aliens on the map, if they're under your control, yes, it will end and they will count as live captured. Alternate movement methods, I don't think so. Override line of fire, this is incredible. Yes. Now instead of um, an, a, a soldier not being able to shoot just because he can't see what you're trying to get him to shoot at, if you use the control key, 
He will shoot at it. He may have to shoot through some walls and stuff, but that's just fine. He will continue to shoot at it. He may not hit it, but he will shoot. Sometimes he opens a path to shoot it. All right, skip next turn screen. We'll leave that off. Tear from the Deep damage formula. Yes. What this does is Tear from the Deep was set up to do 50 to 100%, uh, excuse me, 50 to 150% of the damage as opposed to this, uh, the original game's 0 to 200. This, uh, it makes the damage, our damage out a little less, but also kind of guarantees us a little more. I would rather do that. I don't want to suppress panic messages. I'd like to know when the aliens are panicked. And alien bleeding. Yes, if they get wounded, I want them to bleed out. That's good. And then finally, mods. There are a number of mods that you can get that come with XCOM, uh, with Open XCOM 1.0, and there are others available on the forums that you can set up. I'm not going to try any of these because I've not played Open XCOM enough, but there is just a bunch of cool stuff, and feel free to look into that. It's going to be amazing. So we have set up our game, we've configured it, and here we go. The game is loading. We've, we've bumped up to our new display resolution. And we will start a new game in our next episode. So I want to thank you for joining me for this episode zero of Let's Try Open XCOM 1.0 tutorial. You've been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. If you like what you've seen here, I encourage you to check out my Let's Play of Terror from the Deep. It's been um, a, a blast to play, and we're about halfway through, two-thirds through that Let's Play. We've got at least 66 episodes out. Uh, I invite you to, to sign up for that. You may get a soldier named after you. But um, thanks for joining me again, and we'll see you next time on the next... Open XCOM Let's Try Tutorial.